Have you ever stumbled across when there is a triple spike and when the part ends it says Michigan? And if you did, have you wondered who is that? If you don't know this famous GD creator, then you click on the right video. Hello and welcome to my new video and today I'm gonna tell you the history of Michigan, a legendary John Dash player and creator. Disclaimer. This video is for new players in the community who don't know Michigan. No hate in the comments please. On the 1st of July in 2014, Michigan started his career as a creator by uploading his first video of his first ever level called Michigan Adventures. It was 1.7 on the moment of the upload. Unfortunately, it wasn't good because as I said earlier, it was his first level. Later it was deleted from GD servers. After two months when 1.8 was released, Michi showed his second level called The Real Flavy Birds. The level also didn't grab any attention to the creator because it was pretty boring even in the era of Flappy Bird levels. After that, Michigan started a legendary series of temple levels with the Legend of Zelda theme. The first level of the series was Water Temple, which was noticed by Rob Rob and was featured. Then, on September 14th, he posted a showcase of his new level called Fire Temple. No levels were uploaded after that in 1.8. Right after 1.9 release, the creator uploaded Fire Temple. Even though the level had simple decorations, he still was featured by Routop. After a small friction of time, he did his The Real Flappy Birds and also uploaded a new temple level, Shadow Temple. They both were given stars. Later he uploaded his first video about him beating his fans level for his temple by this guy right there, which was dedicated to Michigan. He started uploading a lot of videos of him beating different levels like Chaos Impact, The Code, Theory of Skrillex, Grindcore, etc. On the 6th of February of 2015, Michigan released the next level of the temple series, Lava Temple. It was a mini collab with a very famous creator these days, GG Boy. The level also became popular. Then Michi started to beat various levels like Ditch the Machine and Horntail Cave. That's how he rose on the leaderboards. During that time, a lot of fan-made temple levels were made like Snow Temple. One of his peaks was on June 12th, when he took part in the most legendary mega collab, Bloodbath by Dryde and more. His part is one of the hardest in the level, because it includes a lot of triple spikes, hard UFO timings and a fly in a wave in the end. It made him very popular among GD community, but suddenly, for some reason, he became inactive until 2.0. When the update was released, he uploaded a challenge level, the Triple Trial. It fully consisted from repetitive triple spikes with barely any decorations. Yet, it still got stars. That's why many players weren't happy. After that, Michigan was associated with triple spikes. A month later, on September the 1st, the creator built a new level called Forest Temple, which was heavily inspired from his fans' level which I told you about earlier. After that, Michigan and Mac continued to beat levels from different versions and difficulties. These are 9 Circles, Jailbreaker, KS Airflow, Rebellion. Rising up through leaderboards in 2015, he managed to pass Dynamo 98 and accused of cheating Exotic. The last official level of the Temple series was Dazzle's Temple. On the 5th of March of 2016, Michigan uploads his part in another legendary level, Yes to Garasu. Not including that Michi's channel has grown to 70,000 subs, he joined a creator team called Geostorm and participated in creation of Artificial Ascent. The YouTuber still continued to upload his only completions of different levels. After the 2.1 release, Michigan made a sequel to the Triple Trial, Double Triple Trial. In the level you had to jump across 6 spikes on high speeds with the same style of decorations. Later he asked players to finally help him reach 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel, and he was given the status of moderator. On April 11th he thanked everyone who supported him and also he made a face reveal. The Demon Slayer started to be less active and in the end of t April 2017, Shaggy23 passed him on the leaderboards. During that time, there was a Geometry Dash Icon contest, which was organized by Wyprin and Adzer, and Michigan helped them. While that happened, Noctalim and X Megia 007 beat Michi by stars, and he was shifted on the leaderboards. Then Michi said that he'll no longer collect stars, and also he stopped uploading videos on his channel. He barely was active on Twitter, and in the end of 2017, he confirmed that he's quitting the game by posting a message on his GD account. He said, "Game over." I wish you all the best. 
yet he still continued to stay in Geo Storm and even participated in a mega collab called Flap. After two years, he posted a video of his mega collab called Trip, in which 88 people participated in Michigan Melee Part 2. The level had repetitive triple spikes, but with nice decorations and different styles made by different people. In the description he wrote, just for your information, this doesn't mean I will return to GG, I'm not, just not completely gone. I will remember this game, its community and the huge amount of support I received. I still love you all. He didn't come back to the game. On the 27th of February of 2020, he was taking the status of moderator for not being active. Unfortunately, on the 30th of March of 2021, Weapon posted news that Michigan is no longer with us. At first, people thought that this was a joke before April the 1st, but soon after it was confirmed by Raptop's message. And on the next day, the triple trial became a daily level, and on April the 2nd, Lava Temple turned into a weekly demon. Rest in peace, our legend.